team, I love me, me, me. Day six of Vlogmas 2017. Stay tuned for the question of the day. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So the question of today, December 2017, day six of Vlogmas. Why do men cheat? I got seven reasons why men cheat. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. All right, number one. It's because the woman has not given him any consequences for his infidelity. This is not the first time she caught him cheating. It might not be the second time she caught him cheating. Only thing he hear is lip service. And what do I mean by lip service? Is you saying, I don't want this. I don't want to deal with this. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to deal with that. Meanwhile, you still laying next to him. Meanwhile, you still having sex with him. Meanwhile, you just nagging, nagging, nagging. He's still doing whatever he want to do. You found out that he keep cheating on you. And it's because you have not walked away. Number two. It's because maybe he's not being sexually satisfied at the house but he's scared to ask you not that that's an excuse but I'm answering this question why do men cheat he might be scared to ask his baby to do these sexual fantasy things that he has in mind and so because he doesn't want to be looked at in a certain way or he don't want you to feel a certain type of way or he's expressed it to you that baby let's try X Y and Z and you like nah and he has asked you multiple times, obviously the man wants to try to do X, Y, and Z. So instead of him nagging you about it, he then went off and done it with somebody else. Keep that in mind. What you won't do, somebody else will. Number three is actually because he's being selfish. That's right, he's being selfish. Um, I remember that I was friends with one of these uh, I was friends with the guy before and um, he was married him and his relationship him and his wife was actually going fine they had no issues she wasn't a big nagger but just whenever he felt like cheating he could and I and I wanted to know why he was doing that if everything was cool at the house if everything was cool at the house you have no complaints at all why are you cheating on your wife and it's because it was something that he wanted to do it was something that he wanted to do so he did it and his wife knew exactly what she had. This wasn't the first time that he cheated on her, but going back to number one, she didn't walk away from him. So he just continued to do it. And he was like, I don't do it all the time, as if that's a good thing to say. He didn't do it all the time. So it could have been a few months that went past. It could have been a couple years that went past. But when he felt the niche to cheat because something fine or whatever it was that caught his eye, he did it. He didn't do it because he was thinking about walking away from his wife ever. He did it because he wanted to do it. So he did it. The fourth reason is because he's just not even manning up. And what do I mean by that? He's not manning up because he already feels in his mind the relationship is over. But instead of him coming to you to say, you know what, the relationship is over, he finds a way for you to get rid of him. In this case, he finds a way to cheat on you and put it in your face so you can see it, so you can be the one to make him get out, so you can be the one to decide that the relationship is over, so he can put all he can put all of the weight on your shoulders to say, you know what, I'm through, I'm done, enough is enough, you've gone too far. But he already knew it was over. Which is another reason why he can move on so quickly. I'm going to cover that in a future video. Why men move on so quickly. But moving on. Number five, he actually can feel very insecure about something. Maybe he was too fat. Maybe he was too skinny. Maybe he was too short. Maybe he was too tall. Maybe he thinking about his money and how he really can't keep up with you in the relationship. But instead of, again, manning up and saying something about these things, he needs to get the attention from another woman to make him feel manly so he can show his bravado to her. He can express those things without without having to explain himself, without having to feel bad, without really having to feel good. I mean, he's just doing it because he's insecure about something that has nothing to do with you as the woman. It has nothing to do with you. Everything to do with him. 
Number six, he can actually cheat because he has unrealistic expectations of what a relationship should be. So he might even be comparing you to somebody that he used to be with. Or he could think like he has these ideals of what a woman should do in the relationship. You're not doing these things. So he's like, you know what? This is not the way the relationship should be. Instead of him opening, yeah, I did that, opening up his mouth and talking to you about these things. He just has these things in his mind. You're supposed to be his damn mind reader. And all of a sudden, hmm. It ain't going the way that I think it should go. So I'm going to go out here with whomever. Just have a good time. Finally, number seven is that he's just very immature. He's not ready for all of the things that relationships entail. So he had this idea, going back to the last one, he had this idea about what a relationship should look like. And um, he didn't think about, he didn't clearly think about everything that it entails. Maybe him being the leader. He don't really know how to lead. Maybe him um, actually taking care of the family. He ain't making enough money to take care of the family. So all of these things that he didn't um, uh, hone in or um, fix before he decided to take on a relationship, he is now just saying, you know what? I don't want to deal with all this pressure. So I'm going to go out here and just have some fun. Meanwhile, you still there. He didn't walk away. But he don't want to deal with the pressure that the relationship is bringing. So he just like, you know what, I'm, I don't care. I don't care where this is going. So he could have never been in a long-term relationship. So again, he has no idea what an actual relationship uh, entails. He doesn't know that you actually have to put in the time, energy, and effort into it. He doesn't know that he actually literally has to open up his mouth and share things about what he's actually going through. He doesn't know that he has to share his fears. He doesn't know that he has to um, um, include you into his life, include you into his plans, and really where you guys are starting to commingle your lives together. He don't know that he got to do all of this stuff. So he's just like, man, this is a lot. It's a lot to take in. This is for the birds and yeah, exit. All right, guys, before I end this video, if you like this video, I am going to link right above up here, cheating, two reasons, my previous video. So if you like this video, make sure that you go ahead and check that out. Um, definitely give me thumbs up if you like this video. And of course, leave me some comments down below because I love reading them. Finally, if this is your first time here to I Love Me, 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 make sure that you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me, 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 I'm supplying you guys with the tips and tools in order to have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship so we can increase the marriage rate together while simultaneously decreasing that divorce rate. Y'all, we can do this. We just got to understand how to be in relationships with one another. We can do this. Together, we can do this. I love you guys. See you soon. Mwah.